good afternoon Eagles fans and good afternoon NFL fans to the playoffs here the 2018-19 NFL football season where my birds have kept season alive beating Washington Bears beating the Vikings and at 9 and 7 being able to sneak into the playoffs <laughs> more to talk about that in a second this is absolutely awesome in my opinion as I told you last week you gotta believe anything is possible especially how things panned out last year I know I was not prepared to give up on my Eagles yes we did not control our own destiny we had to first do what we had control over which was beat Washington and then we need a little bit of help from what would be our future foe in the Chicago Bears and hope that Kirk Cousins did not catch fire and light up either the first string or second string defense depending on what the 49ers did against the Rams and as you know the reason why I'm doing this video now my birds came through shut out the Washington Redskins and then we sat back and watched as the Bears first team offense and then afterwards their second team defense whatever took care of the Minnesota Vikings and watch Kirk Cousins completely just melt down not just on the field but on the sideline with Thielen telling him how to run his route <laughs> sorry I found a little bit of extra enjoyment for double reasons Kirk Cousins of course I love it I love it Kirk Cousins of course coming from the Washington Redskins we know what he's capable of actually kind of beat us a lot of times when he was on Washington but he never came up big in big games for the most part but then going over to Minnesota where we dealt with Minnesota fans the Minnesota whatever they want to call it while they're in the stadium here that I was at last year a little extra salty and then we went out to Minnesota and win the Super Bowl so it's kind of fitting for him to go there and have the outcome be what it is what it was our Eagles are starting to peak at the right time people are getting healthy I mean you get to see like Darren Sproles contribute you get to see our secondary actually starting to play together Russell Douglas is shutting people down and Dante Maddox is just playing very well and Malcolm Jenkins the leader of the team of that defense all over the field Fletcher Cox becoming an absolute beast three sacks on the day and then moving over to ah, let's do special teams next Jake Elliott doing what he needs to do nailing whatever field goals he needs to nail I mean this is then the offense Yes, yeah, Zach Ertz have, has made that, that record not untouchable, but it's a whole lot harder to get that record for tight ends. You got a running back, so they might not be killing it per se, but they are producing as needed and holding on to the football. And then Nick Foles. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. If you've been part of this channel, if you've been watching it for the last couple of years, you know exactly why I stand when it comes to Nick Foles. Nick Foles has done nothing but produce. I'm not going to talk trash on anybody else. I'm not going to say anything about Wentz. No, this is about Nick Foles. I told you, I've been reading the guy's book. This is a guy that won the Super Bowl for us last year with the coaching of Doug Peterson and Frank Reich at the time. But, and then what does he do this year? He goes 4-1. and one. He breathes life back into our team, back into our city goes on a three game winning streak against the Rams, against the Texans, and then shutting out, helping us shut out the Redskins and getting us into the playoffs and giving us a shot. That's all we want now. That's all we're asking for and that's all we have now is a shot. Coming in as a sixth seed is kind of what I've been talk talking about. This is what shows what kind of Eagles fans we really are. Because it's one thing to be strolling in, resting all your players last week of the season, first seed, and then we'll see where it goes from there. You only need two games at home to reach to the Super Bowl. Now we're coming in as a sixth seed. 
we're gonna have to play against the Bears. And if we beat them, we have to play in New Orleans. And if we beat them, in my opinion, I think we're gonna play the winner of Seattle Rams, which I think it's gonna be the Rams, play in LA. And that's what I think the path is gonna be for my Eagles to go back to the Super Bowl and play the Patriots again. Yes, I just gave you a little bit of prediction. That's how I roll. I did it last year, but I was really more specific. This is just my little prediction in my head. I did it last year more specific. I told you exactly which quarterback was gonna win what at the beginning of the season, and it happened. Go back and look at the videos. But now we gotta <laughs> look specifically at Chicago. I am not here to disrespect Chicago whatsoever. Yes, do I believe we're gonna win? Yes, do I think we're gonna win by more than two scores? Yes, I do. I'm gonna say that on video like I normally do. Just put it out there because I think we're gonna win by more than 10 points. Pointing back to a little bit last year, we won 31 to three. I think our defense playing against their offense is a lot more favorable than their offense playing against our defense. We shut down Howard and Cohen and Trubisky last year. We did. Year before that was Jay Cutler, so mm, that's kind of funny because I looked, I looked at both of those games. Can't say anything when Jay Cutler's your quarterback because he's not good. But we shut down the Bears last year and held Howard to like, I think like six yards or something like that. So I think we know how to handle their offense. I think they have a wide receiver, Gabriel. The, the guy is a speedster and he's going to be a little bit of a problem. But I think we can handle their offense pretty well. I don't think they're going to score that much on offense. The concern is dealing with their defense. And you have to talk about Mac when you talk about the Chicago Bears defense. That guy just wrecks stuff. That's what he does. Like he just, he's like an NFC Von Miller. It's almost unblockable, but I have to say this props for offensive line. Look at what we've done against Donald, Sue, Clowney, Watt, and Kerrigan. These last three weeks, offensive line has stepped up big time and shut down these premier pass rushers. So have we been getting our practice against great players? Yes, we have. But it's time to show up again. We can't just rest on what we've done in the past. We have to continue to do it week after week and hopefully extend our season one more week. And it doesn't get any easier when you go play against Mac. And then when you go play against, it's weird how Chicago is just like this. They are just a turnover machine team. When they get into this mode, it's very, very dangerous. Because I have to say, I don't think the offense is going to score more than 10 points. But their defense, I mean, I remember a couple years ago when they played against the Cardinals. And their defense scored like 21 points or something. The Bears are who we thought they were. Their defense has the capabilities of creating turnovers and putting their offense in really great positions. Or their defense is flat out scoring points. So that's something to pay attention to. Ball security is going to be absolutely key to this game. Man. Nick Foles passing the ball fast, not holding on to it so Mac doesn't have time to get there, allowing for him to over pursue and running the ball. I did a matrix. Yes, I am completely geeking out for the playoffs like I normally do, but I did a matrix on the last like eight or nine games we even played because we've been on a tear since like the middle of the season now, coming back from being four and six to winning five of our last six games. And if you look at it, it's a common thread. If we run the ball more than 20 times in a game, regardless of how many yards we, we gain, we win the game. Because we have a level of balance. And that's what Nick Foles is. I mean, that's even when Carson Wentz was in, but it seems like he kind of audibled out of it. Kill, kill! He audibled out of it too many times so the defense didn't have to stay as honest. Nick Foles is allowing for our running backs just to run. And so that RPL becomes that much more dangerous because the defense doesn't know what they have to deal with if you run the ball more which then leaves things open to listen to this offensive lineup that just gets me so excited. You got Darren Sproles is healthy now. Yes, yes, yes. And he's hungry because he wasn't on the field in Super Bowl. You better believe he wants to win in the playoffs. So Darren Sproles, Zach Ertz, Alshon Jeffrey, Nelson Aguilar, and Golden Tate. I mean, that's just this. And with Nick Foles, Super Bowl MVP, the reigning one. Yes, in our offensive line with Lane Johnson, Jason Peters, Kelsey in the middle, Brooks, Wisniewski if you want to say so. I mean, I just think our offense will do well. 
our defense can get after the quarterback now with just rushing four, and that's what we need to do. Trubisky can run a little bit, but he's not like Deshaun Watson. That guy was ridiculous, and he almost beat us in our home and ended our season. It was close. Trubisky can run, but we have to be disciplined. But I think we can force him into a situation where we're run blitzing and keeping him in the pocket and force him to beat us with his arm. And I don't think that's going to happen because I think our corners have been stepping it up. So that's what I got. I'm going to call the game 24 to 10. That's what I think. I think we're going to win by 10 or 14 or whatever. I'm going to say 24 to 10. But this last part here, I know this video is going long, but I, this last part here, think about weeks ago when it looked like we were down and out, when I just flew back from Dallas and we just lost. Still cannot give up hope. Can't give up that dream. Can't give up what is possible for our team. I think that's kind of mentality with everything in life anyway. But all we have to do is get a chance, and now we have that chance. I think we have the perfect matchup in the playoffs. And we have a say now on defending a Super Bowl championship. But we need to travel to other stadiums now and show them what Eagles fans are all about. Be respectful, of course. Respect all those Bears fans up in Chicago. Those are good fans up there. This is our time. Kind of like what Malcolm Jenkins said. No longer are we sneaking in. We're kicking down the door. That's what we're doing. And that's what I think we're going to do against Chicago and beat them in Chicago on our route to New York. week wasn't the last week we got more games to play we got a mission just to, to, to just ah! we're gonna do this one game at a time one plane flight at a time as a sixth seed to start traveling through the NFL and hopefully knock off one team at a time <laughs> so we ain't done yet the record is not over yet and it's time to show some Eagle Championship football in the playoffs. And let's go beat those Bears. And as we always do, let's go Birds, baby. E-A-T-L-E-S, Eagles! Beat those Bears!